What's up everybody, Kev here, back again with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about Starlink, which is SpaceX's new internet. And we're gonna talk about how it's gonna be coming to home and going public very soon. And let's get into that right now. So as you can see, I have it pulled up. SpaceX is leveraging its experience in building rockets and spacecraft to deploy to the world's most advanced broadband internet system, high-speed internet across the globe with performance that far surpasses that of traditional satellite internet and a global network unbounded by ground infrastructure limitations starlink will deliver high-speed broadband internet to locations where access has been unreliable expensive or completely unavailable starlink is targeting services in the northern u.s and in canada in 2020 rapidly expanding to near global coverage of the populated world by 2021. Starlink is on the leading edge of on-orbit debris mitigation, meeting or exceeding all regulatory and industry standards. At end of life, the satellites will utilize their onboard propulsion system to deorbit over the course of a few months. In the unlikely event the propulsion system becomes inoperable, the satellites will burn up in Earth's atmosphere within one to five years, significantly less than the hundreds of thousands of years required at higher altitudes. And as you can see right here, it shows you the difference of Starlink and satellites and stuff like that. Less mass, more compact. Each satellite weighs approximately 260 kilograms and features a compact, flat panel design that minimizes volume, allowing for a dense launch stack to take full advantage of the launch capabilities of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. With four powerful phrased array antennas on each satellite, an enormous amount of throughput can be placed and redirected in a short time for an order of magnitude lower cost. Starlink satellites feature a single solar array, significantly simplifying the system. Solar cells are standardized and easy to integrate into the manufacturing process. All right, I'm going to kind of run through this process right now because a lot of this is probably stuff that most people don't understand, some stuff that I don't understand. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into the home internet package stuff. But as you can tell, it's obviously freaking crazy. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff, all kinds of features, and they have their own mission, what their objective is, and all that stuff. But mainly we're talking about it coming to home internet and how it's going to be available to people and that they're thinking of going public right now. So right over here, we got an article pulled up, and this is written by Universe Today. It says SpaceX is thinking of spinning off Starlink and taking it public. According to the latest statements made by... SpaceX's president and chief operations officer, the company is considering spinning off Starlink and making it a publicly traded company in the coming years. The announcement was made on Thursday, February 6th. Uh, said this move would give the public and investors a chance to buy into one of SpaceX's most high profile operations, one of which Musk has been keeping close to his chest until now. To date, the company has deployed a total of 240 satellites to a low orbit of 550 kilometers and hopes to begin offering internet services to customers by this summer. So they're trying to go public. They're thinking the way that they have everything. It says they're a private company, but Starlink is in the right kind of business that they can go ahead and take it public. So that's something interesting. They're going to not be private uh, going in the future possibly and they're getting ready to try to get internet in the home by this summer and then they're going to try to get it globally covered by 2021 even in areas that didn't have internet before so this could potentially be a huge deal and really good stuff to come and also just a simple fact that's going to take away from competitors they said that they're going to enter the internet game really competitive with competitive prices and great speeds because as you guys know and a lot of my audience knows and subscribers know and if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button because we're talking about stuff like this all the time and keeping everyone up to date but a lot of my subscribers know that there's a huge monopoly when it comes to internet and cable and all this stuff like that. Certain areas are locked down. So if they can get to areas that are monopolized and come with a competitive price and competitive um, speeds, which I'm sure they can and they've proved it, which we're going to go over in a minute. I think it's going to be a great, great thing for a lot of customers who want to transfer over and check this stuff out. So I'm actually really liking the way everything's going so far. So a lot of you may already know on October 22nd, Musk made the first tweet over the low earth orbit and it said sending this tweet through space via Starlink satellite and there was a reply, well, it worked. So SpaceX and U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory were able to deliver a 610 megabyte connection to the cockpit of an in-flight U.S. military C-12 twin engine turboprop aircraft. There's a lot of long words in this, a lot of stuff that I know that a bunch of people probably are like, what the heck does all this mean? Basically, SpaceX is going to be creating internet 
nicknamed Starlink. They have satellites in the sky and they're going to bring competitive home internet to people like us, like you, like anyone listening. You may this summer, next summer, whatever it may be, able to order Starlink internet home service for a competitive price. And they're saying they can deliver speeds up to over 600 megabytes. So that's really impressive. It says they'll have latency of 25 milliseconds. It appears that Starlink will cost approximately $80 per month. So if all goes well in 2020, we'll be taking a look at that and trying stuff out. So in a Seattle speech that he was given out in Seattle, he said he's just gonna go ahead and try to rebuild the internet by out in space and do it a completely different way. And I totally have faith in him that he can get it done. Because as you guys know, there's a huge monopoly in certain areas and certain locations where they're locked down the contracts because they can't get anything. They might not be able to get files. They might not be able to get this company or that company. And I'm sure in different countries, it all works differently as well with different companies' monopolies. So for him, someone like Elon Musk to create an internet, and I have faith that obviously he's a smart person. He can, he can make something like this happen. He has great ambition to make great things happen so i have complete faith in him that he can create an internet that's going to be available to home customer users at an affordable price and help help these people save money in their pockets instead of spending a hundred some dollars a month for internet that's advertised as one thing but then completely different speeds when you go to test it and constant back and forth throttling and issues and just all this different kind of stuff that constantly happens we don't want to deal with any of that anymore we need competitors the solution is you won't have a monopoly anymore if there's tons of competitors if there's 10 of something you don't want 20 30 because maybe at that point it becomes overwhelming but if there's 10 companies offering something great that gives you at least a bit of options not just saying you are stuck with this one service you're stuck with that one service you're stuck with these speeds whatever the case may be so i'm really excited to look into the future of this and i'm really excited where this uh whole plan and this whole project can go um i'm honestly thinking about as soon as it comes checking out my location on the east coast of america and just seeing um if it's available because if it is i definitely will be trying it out and giving it a go because I have complete faith in this and I have issues with my internet all the time with the modem just shutting on and off, outages all the time, outages and storms, outages and this, outages and that. It's just constant back to back issues. So I'm really hoping that something can change here and that we can get on the right track of providing affordable, reliable internet to everyone. And that really seems like it's their mission, honestly. It just seems that they're trying to get things done correctly and they want things done right. And they have a mission that they're gonna approve and achieve. eyes peeled for that keep your eyes peeled on these websites and my channel for sure because we're going to definitely cover that so if this video did help at all shed some light or get you excited for anything coming in the summer of 2020 hit that like button and hit that subscribe button we will be waiting for the future to test this and try this out and i'm very excited so yeah thanks everybody for tuning in hit that like button hit that subscribe button i drop videos every week around tech gaming streaming movies television anything around the technology and gaming umbrella i'll get you covered here thanks for tuning in this is kev and I'm out.